Our Brick Labs give artists of all different stripes the chance to take a concept and make it a work in progress. They're encouraged to mix media and cross borders, and in a moment, you'll meet the author of a new theater piece that does all that and more. She's part of a company called Built for Collapse. Here's a sample of an earlier work of theirs called A Nuclear Love Affair. The world will know that the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, a military base. We won the race of discovery against the Germans. Dearest sweethearts, my most precious children. We have used it in order to shorten the agony of war. Well, the Iranian hostage crisis, other than Ben Affleck's Hollywood eyes portrayal in Argo a couple of years back, hasn't really been the subject of that much artistic treatment in the years since it dominated the news and effectively ended Jimmy Carter's presidency. Well, here in America, we've seen even less about how it affected the Iranians themselves. Right now, Built for Collapse, the company that performed in the clip we just saw, is working on a new work in progress called Red Wednesday. It addresses the story of Iran's political and cultural revolution by interweaving bits and pieces of historical transcripts, interviews, and other primary sources with the original words of our next guest. She is the writer and director and DJ, DJ. Yeah. Sanaz Gajar. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thanks Welcome. Here. Okay. Tell us about DJing. DJing. <laughs> I do it as a side hobby, and I, I DJed my best friend, one of my best friend friends' weddings, and since then I've gotten snowballed. a lot of calls. Yeah, really? it's snowballed. It's a thing I do now. Nice. Well, Great. You also mixed it into the theater and yeah. the dance and the movement and all those visuals. Yeah. How did you synthesize this work? Uh, so I get really bored in theater a lot of the mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. um, because my attention span is short. Mm -hmm. And so um, for me to really stay engaged with something, it's got to be moving and shifting constantly with my heartbeat. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually direct a lot through rhythm and, and sound. And then uh, if I'm hearing dialogue and suddenly I'm like, oh, I'm bored. I need something else to like engage me right now. You dance. Yeah. Dance right now. <laughs> Um, this is my kind of show. I would stay Shine. awake for this Shine. show. I can't tell you how many times I'm yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, and it's for my poor actors. I'm like, no, not that. That's the, the opposite of that. Try the opposite of that. And that's pretty much the process. <laughs> tell us what Built for Collapse is. Uh, it's a company that I run with mm. my uh, uh, two of my compatriots, mm. um, Ben Hobbs and Vincent Sanford. And, um, it's basically a, a way for us to share our point of view of experiencing the world being in our late 20s, early 30s, mm. um, from both a political and personal space. Um, it's very multidisciplinary, and mm. we tour sometimes. So. But late 20s, early 30s, that's yeah. not exactly like a ripe field for the Iranian uh, revolution and the hostage uh, yeah. situation is the American context. So how did you arrive at that as subject matter? For me, um, my great uncle was the foreign affairs minister during the hostage crisis in Iran, Sadek Qobzadeh, and he was actually executed before I was born. And I heard so many stories about him as a hero and then later as a murderer, depending on what side you mm -hmm. um, were listening to. And uh, it sort of inspired 
it was the inspiration uh, for addressing Iran and America and their very complicated relationship, which goes back ages ago, you mm -hmm. know, like, like the, they say that the hostage crisis, actually, if you look at it, it goes back to 1953 mm -hmm. and the things that happened then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so I thought, well, okay, I'm coming from a personal space. I have all these personal stories from my family, and I also have this incredible research that I've done um, on other sides of the story. What if I pull this all together and take a look at it from this almost objective, removed space? Mm. So that's kind of what inspired me to uh, address it. And it was also right when Rouhani was um, coming into office and the Green Revolution was happening and Gezi Park, uh, the protests there were happening at Arab Springs. I mean, it just felt like right. we were in this right. moment of revolution. The world was pushing you toward yeah. making this work. Yeah. 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 And have you been here this whole time? Are you from here? I'm from You're New from, York okay. and, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I like to say that. Um, but I'm, I was born in the U.S. Um, and then I actually grew up part of my life in Iran um, in first grade. My parents got divorced and uh, I ended up in Iran with my grandparents. Um, and I heard a lot about the revolution growing up, you know, right. I mean, the, the, my family, they say this thing about how trauma moves through the DNA mm. and, um, we we're just talking about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I miss it? Was it on earlier it's today? It's on a video. Yes. Go to Brick TV <laughs> okay. on the YouTube. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, and I feel like I was sort of inherited all this trauma and also these stories that they told me of the trauma they experienced with the hostage crisis with the um, Iran-Iraq war. Right. I mean, I had all of this in me and um, yeah. yeah. That, so yes, I was And you've Iran. actually been, and so you get to have, yeah. you get to weave that in too because so many people of your generation, of our generation who are Iranian, have never been, can never go, I mean, don't have that experience, I mean, that may be woven into this piece will really speak to them as well. Yeah, and I'm very, very lucky to have had the experience of being in Iran. And it's a beautiful culture and it's a beautiful country. And when, I mean, I had the opportunity to um, learn the language and really immerse myself and they're not, very different at all from any of us. Yeah. And we never I, are. I, yeah, right? You know, and, I, and it's like, well, if I'm standing on the border and I can see that side and I can see that side, mm -hmm. which I do with my mother and my father a lot, mm -hmm. um, you know, like it's the same thing, you know, looking at it from this lens, how can I find the commonalities? And it comes back to something I think you guys were saying in the earlier segment about how we are all this global community. Mm -hmm. And that's my philosophy about it. So that's a lot that you just laid yeah. on us. And all of that <laughs> yeah. manifests itself in a, what, 90 minute? Yeah, work? oh yeah, in like a 90 minute extravaganza. extravaganza. <laughs> yeah. We love an extravaganza. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are the different mediums used in this piece? Um, I mean, media is a huge part of it in terms of film and um, projections work. Uh, it, it's a character in the show. Mm. Um, we loaded in last week and we've been in tech the whole time. We like to rehearse with lights and sound and they're in conversation with the actors. Um, and there's huge dance pieces inside oh, of cool. it straight dialogue, absurdism. I mean, I try to pull out everything I possibly yeah. can. I this is why it. I love the Brick Lab. I know. <laughs> so when, when can we finally it? get a peek? Uh, March 4th and 5th at 7.30, we're gonna be having uh, our, our our showings. Yeah. And it's a, and I feel like it's it's gonna be a show, okay. you know? We'll it see. It sounds really. like it's gonna be a <laughs> well, show. It's gonna, yes, be, it's gonna be an extravaganza. It's gonna be a show. Spectacle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and awesome. there's also a feedback session afterwards where we talk with the audience and I I really want to hear, that's the big thing right now. I don't know what the mm -hmm. audience's role is. Yeah. And as a theater maker, it's so you key. Feel the room. Yeah, so we need people there to tell us what they, what their experience is. March 4th Excellent. and 5th, yeah. come down to the Brick House, make your way to the Brick Lab. Uh, you can go on our website, brickartsmedia.org, and get all the details to find yourself in the room. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sanaz, for joining us. And good luck with your piece. It Thank sounds you. incredible.